What's going on guys? It is Steven and today we have an amazing Lego scene. This is actually part two of our Lego Star Wars Sith Invasion trilogy we have going on here in Bricksville. This is a fantastic scene that I think you guys will really enjoy. So if you're interested in Lego City, Lego Star Wars, or the destruction of a Lego City, you guys will definitely enjoy this one, so stick around. If you guys can do me a real quick favor before we get started and hit that like button, I would appreciate it. And let's go check out the scene. Okay, so here we have it. Part 2 of the Sith Invasion scene. This one is crazy, guys. You are really going to enjoy this, so stick around for this. We're going to kind of go through different parts of this scene. I will show you some of the destruction and some of the micro scenes that we have set up. I have some of the tops off of the buildings, some of these buildings here, because we actually have micro scenes inside of the buildings. So that's the first time we've ever done that, and we have more destruction than we've ever had before, guys. So this is going to be awesome. Let's start over here on 1st Street. So we still have the explosion and fire over here at the gas station uh, at the corner garage here at 1st and Main. That is a complete mess. Everything's on fire there and we still have the wreck right there. Nothing's been cleaned up obviously because we are in Sith control. Over here in the amusement park we actually have a horror film waiting to happen. This is just really disgusting and disgraceful. So the Sith have come in here and they are holding this down. They've actually taken some clowns and uh, there you can see one up in the tree. Actually that tree's on fire. So yeah, they're definitely making an example of uh, the civilians here. We had that stage set up here and we actually had a little bit of a friends party uh, rocking for a couple months there. But as you can see, yeah, there's nobody left there either. We actually have uh, some dead minifigures here in the, uh, over here at the festival area. Over here in our neighborhood, actually, we have a couple little micro scenes set up. As you can see right here, we have a Sith Trooper invading these people's home because they're actually looking for some hidden rebels is what they're doing there. These people holding their hands up, they're like, no, no, not here, not here. But actually, if you go next door, you can see that they actually do have a rebel upstairs and you can see their daughter uh, feeding him, handing him a pretzel. So hopefully they don't get in there and hopefully we can uh, get those re uh, rebels up together and uh, start a rebellion. Here we actually have a line of people. I'm not sure whether they're going to work or what's going on here, but you can see that the Sith is obviously uh, walking them somewhere. Upstairs here in the corner garage, you can see that we have the top off. There's a scene inside. You can see right here there is a, a TIE fighter flying above, so they're very close and I uh, really almost caught him. That's one of the ones that's going to shake the building, you know what I mean? Uh, you can see everyone kind of gathered in here. Here's our rebellion so far. You can see them all kind of gathered in there. We have Princess Leia Organa. She's on the radio right there looking out the window. I'm trying to call her brother Luke using the force and obviously that radio. C-3PO, we've got a couple uh, rebellion troops inside there. As you can see, that guy right there is on the toilet. Thought that was funny. Thought you guys would enjoy that. R2-D2, C-3PO, Han Solo, uh, really everybody's there except we don't have any Jedi right now. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you might have seen some of these little scenes. Down here, we actually have that custom uh, European Jazz Cafe that we built the Rubricable a couple of months ago. That was an incredible build. We got a little bit of destruction on the building there. And down below, this is the corner of Main and 2nd. Looks like all of our police force is right here in cuffs being held by the Sith as well. Pal Cinema, we still have that mess that we had last week, but you guys can see Freya McLeod right there. Yeah, pretty much everyone's going down, guys. There's there's really no one left that can really help the city. Main Street, it looks like we have several of busted cars. They must have been hit with some of the lasers and blasters from the TIE Fighters and whoever's flying above. You can see right here on the corner, there's some uh, First Order Troopers right here on this corner. This is 3rd and Main. It's actually where the Grand Emporium is, and you can see some serious destruction here at the Grand Emporium. So there's a flamethrower troop down there, and he's just lighting that building ablaze, and that is just not good, guys. we got a couple of dead minifigs right there as well, you can see, and we've got some serious destruction going on uh, on the streets. There's another one over there. Well, for the past few months since we finished the park, or at least up to this point finished, it's been a really popping time. It's been super enjoyable experience to have the uh, park being really lively over here. But as you guys can see, this is not a good week. So over here in the water, we actually have some minifigs trying to swim away from the invasion. They don't know where they're going off the edge. We're not really sure, but anywhere but in the park. 
You can see some of the red Sith troopers right there invading. There's one of the transports up above, and they are just kind of going ham on the park there, chasing them out. You can see some of them being chased out over here. There's the sign from Grand Emporium right there. We've got tons of destruction. Right here we have some of those food stalls, and obviously those have been hit by a laser or a missile. Uh, we don't know whether this got blasted, or you can see that fallen tree right here. We're not sure if this got blasted or if these vehicles wrecked, but that's the ice cream truck. She's trying to climb out of there, only to be basically taken into custody by uh, the Sith Troopers, and all of the ice cream fell out of the truck there. Looks like the forest has taken a little bit of damage as well. And down below here at the Avengers Tower, it looks like we have some Sith invading. And uh, the Avengers Tower is actually taking a hit as well. So that's coming down. You can see Natasha's little glider right there. It's hanging off and the A is actually hanging as well. You can see Hawkeye up there trying to uh, shoot down and do the best that he can by his lonesome uh, to defend the city. But you actually do have Black Widow down there as well trying to fight those stormtroopers. So we'll see what happens from that. There's a room here in Assembly Square that is open as well. And you can see a family, a man and his two kids inside there hiding the best that they can. They have a Lego city, so at least they have something really fun to do. TIE Fighter here appears to uh, be shooting at the Daily Bugle. You can see the lasers coming out right there. It looks like we have a little bit of destruction at the Daily Bugle as well. So they busted through some of the windows there. The TV's hanging down and the sign has fallen along with the water tower above and there's a little bit of water on the ground there. Looks like 2nd Street might actually be uh, the worst street out of all of them. It's really, there's so much havoc here. If you guys haven't seen all the trash that's just laying around the city, this is, there's so much loose Lego on my city. It's really crazy, but this is great content and this is a really, really cool uh, Lego City scene, so... There's a wreck right there with that transport, that police transport that's busted open. And then that uh, tall cornerstone of that building, the uh, European Jazz Cafe, came down on that vintage car and destroyed that. Right here we have the Sith just sprawling out and kind of going in and out of each one of these buildings to ransack them. And uh, again, they're looking for the rebellion, so they're going to tear apart anything that's inside of that building. Right down here at the organic cafe the friends cafe we actually have a line of civilians because this is like a socialist regime basically so they're in control of the food and all of our minifigs have to line up and the sith is guiding them over here where they're just giving them one item a piece you cannot have a full meal so that guy got a fish and this guy only got an apple not very uh, nutritious few little spots as you guys can see right here this is behind the daily bugle in the construction site of the fire station which has been under construction for months because i don't know why but you can see some minifigs that are hiding back here so there's definitely some areas where people are hiding but there's not really much they can do not without weapons not without radios any way to contact anybody from the outside world that pretty much sums up the tour of the second part of the Sith invasion scene. Definitely leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what your favorite part of the scene is. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this one. It was a ton of fun for me, a lot of work, and it's going to be a lot of work to clean this one up. But we are going to do a part three of this uh, scene because, it, well, it needs to come to a conclusion, right? We need a resolution. And all Star Wars trilogies are a trilogy so we're definitely going to need a part three thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this lego star wars scene if you did make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more great content coming real soon i appreciate it guys hope you have a great day